Lyle Mafana National Park, hold clues to how lemur species suddenly increased. Climatologist Dr. Patricia Wright has spent over 20 years studying the strange bamboo lemur family. Dr. Wright observed that while all three species eat bamboo leaves, at a certain time of year, they all switch over to eat different parts of the plant. The lesser bamboo lemur eats leaf stems, while the greater bamboo lemur uses brute strength to break into the tough bamboo trunk to eat the inner pit layer. shortages where there's no food available or very little food available and the lemurs have evolved the, the ability to be able to find special kinds of food it seems climate extremes drive bamboo lemurs to switch and specialize when food is scarce these climate extremes are recent and were created by a new event on madagascar's action-packed journey a geological upheaval located far away from the island. 30 million years ago, Madagascar's position off the coast of Africa stabilized, but India continued moving north until it rammed into southern Asia. That violent collision forced up the land to create the tallest mountains in the world, the Himalayas. The increasing height of the mountains dramatically changed the climate, creating a cycle of extreme weather called the monsoon. triggered an explosion in lemur species as the land learned to cope with so much water. Up to 10 inches of rain a day caused massive flooding in the lowlands. As flooding subsided, it created a network of new rivers, dividing the land into a mosaic of small islands. It was on these islands that many new species of lemur evolved. <laughs> as they ate what they could find to survive. Isolation and food shortage drove bamboo lemurs to evolve from one species into three. But they weren't the only ones to multiply. Just as DNA revealed that the first expansion of lemur species was caused by changing climate, it also showed the monsoon triggered another boom. And the group that expanded most dramatically were mouse lemurs. It was always thought there were just two species of mouse lemurs. But that idea was recently overturned by Professor Ann Yoder's DNA detectives. The species diversity within the mouse lemur group is extraordinarily high, and we think there are at least 16 species of these mouse lemurs, and probably more, and that's, we're still in the period of discovery of sampling different areas in Madagascar. 
If DNA detectives could identify 16 species, why hadn't anyone noticed them before? Mouse lemurs all look pretty much the same. That's because they are nocturnal. In the dark, I see only shape. And appearance and color aren't important. So mouse lemurs have evolved other means to identify their own species. And this little femur reveals how it works. It's breeding season. And she's sending a powerful scent signal on the breeze to advertise her readiness to mate. Smell is vital for dark dwellers. And so is sound. The male from the next territory has come to court her, and they begin to serenade each other. Like bats, their ultrasonic calls lie beyond our hearing range. But we can eavesdrop if we lower them to an audible frequency. These are courtship calls of western mouse lemurs. The eastern mouse lemur has a different language. And the golden brown mouse lemur is different again. These sounds appear to be the only difference between these three species, apart from their DNA. But they are so distinct, they can only reproduce with their own kind. Invisible differences are called cryptic speciation, and they reveal just how subtle yet distinct the process of evolution was when the monsoons began eight million years ago. To give us perspective about what can happen in eight million years, uh, humans and gorillas diverged about 10 million years ago, and I think we would all agree that there's been a fair amount of morphological change between you know, gorillas and humans in that period of time, yet in about the equivalent period of time, mouse lemurs physically have not changed at all. The secrets of lemur diversity 